Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you save a document for the first time, you must use the Save As command to choose where to save the file and what to name it. To do this, click the File tab within the ribbon. Then click the Save As command in the command panel at the left side of the backstage view. To the right of the command panel, a list of available places for you to save then appears. The list choices vary depending on the Office subscriptions and services available to your Microsoft account. If you have previously saved files, then the Recent option shows a list of folder locations into which you have recently saved files. Other common options include your OneDrive folder for Microsoft user accounts, SharePoint folders for Business Office 365 subscribers, and this PC. Select the location to which to save the file. If you save to a OneDrive or SharePoint folder, then you save the file online. Doing this lets you access it from any online computer when signed in with the same Microsoft user account. To add a OneDrive or OneDrive for Business location, which also includes SharePoint if available for your account and Office 365 subscription, click the Add a Place link in this list. Then click either the OneDrive or OneDrive for Business buttons to the right. Then enter your login credentials to add the selected resources for the login credentials to your list of saved online locations. Alternatively, if you select the This PC Choice in the list of saved locations, you save the file on the local computer or local computer network on which you are working. If signed into Microsoft Office using a Microsoft user account, you can click either the OneDrive or SharePoint choice to save the file online to either the selected OneDrive or SharePoint folder. If you select SharePoint, then select a SharePoint site that appears in the list to the right. Alternately, you can click the This PC choice to save the file to your local computer or local network. At that point, for all of your choices, a list of folders in the selected location appears in the list to the far right. You can click a folder in this list to select it as the saved location. If you need to go back up one level from within the folder you selected, you can click the Select to Navigate Up One Level button, which looks like an upward pointing arrow, to the left of the current folder's name at the top of the rightmost panel. Then type a file name into the Enter File Name Here field at the top of the rightmost list. File names should be short and descriptive. Word does not let you use the following symbols in a file name. The colon, the forward slash, the backslash, the greater than sign, the less than sign, the asterisk, double quotes, or the pipe symbol. Give the file a memorable name and also note into which folder you saved it. People often remember what they named a file, but forget into which folder they saved it. If needed, you can then use the drop-down that appears below that field to select the specific file type to save. After entering the file name and noting its save location, click the Save button to the right of the File Type drop-down to finish saving the file. Alternatively, if you prefer to use a Windows Save As dialog box to name saved files and select their save locations, then either click the More Options link that appears under the File Type drop-down at the top of the rightmost folder list, or click the Browse link in the list of possible save locations. Doing either action then opens the Save As dialog box. In this dialog box, select the folder into which to save the file by using the folder navigation options at either the top or left side of the dialog box. Then enter a file name into the file name field. If needed, use the Save As Type drop-down to select the file type to save. Then click the Save button within the Save As dialog box to finish saving the file. After initially saving a file, its name then appears in the title bar. To save changes you make to locally saved files after that, simply click the Save button in the Quick Access Toolbar, or click the File tab in the ribbon, and then click the Save command. 
you will not have to re-enter the file name or select a save location. Word automatically saves the changes to the existing file. If the file is saved online to OneDrive or SharePoint and Autosave is enabled, then there will not be a save command available within the Backstage view, although you can still use the Save button in the Quick Access Toolbar if desired. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.